Uh, Team 1099 here again for week two update. Uh, this week we finished uh, with a lot of our prototypes. We're going to still continue them and fine tune them. Uh, we have though focused on shooting and picking up. Picking up allows us to not only not go across the field and come all the way back, which we feel will take a lot of time, but also during autonomous we can pick up extra discs and uh, shoot more for extra points. I was wondering what was happening in the back. Uh, uh, building the elements, we've already finished our low goal, we finished the middle goal. Uh, pyramid is almost done, the high goal is almost done, so we're almost done with all of that. Uh, this week we had a meeting also to s finalize all of our ideas. Uh, most of our ideas are very consistent. We have uh, our idea for the pickup is just a shovel with a roller on top. Uh, and then we're going to have some kind of conveyor belt system. Either it's going to stack them or just keep them in a row. And we have decided we're probably going to be using pneumatics on it to push up the frisbee, push down the frisbee, and push it right into the shooter. Uh, after strategizing, we also determined that we probably want to use a linear shooter due to the sizes of this year's robot. That's it. That's all, folks. <laughs> We're building the kit pot right now to test out the belts and just have a practice chassis. Um, well, it took us a while deciding we wanted to build the wide or narrow chassis, uh, but we decided we were building the narrow chassis because that's probably going to be closer to what we're doing this season. We are building the kit pot. Basic it's going to look something like that. It's a basic frame with wheels and it's going to use these things instead of uh, these things. Chains. Those are called chains and these are called uh, belts. What? belts. belts. And it's going to use the belts instead of the chains and we're going to see how that goes. Uh, right now we're building the kit pot, so right here we're building the gearboxes, the new tough box minis. Yeah. We got this one side on. Yeah. And now we got to do the other side. Done. Which is satisfactory. But at least we won't make the same mistakes we did last time. Yes. Hopefully. That is. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll pay enough All attention more. We put the belts on wrong, so now we have to take them off again. Really? Well, the water goes to here, and this turns, and this turns that, and that turns that. <laughs> uh, for the most part, we're almost done. We're just trying to figure out right now. We're done. I wired it up yeah. this we morning. All assembled, all wired up. We're just trying to figure out why it isn't driving right now. Yeah. Uh, well, we have powered everything properly, but uh, the motors aren't getting the signal to turn at all. So it looks like everything is connected, but somehow it's not getting, it's not getting a signal to drive. Yeah. We've been productive before, trying to get the robot to work. And how'd that go? Well, the victors respond now. They were still solid colors, that's what we want, but we still figured out how to get to drive. That way you've in fact way too much area for even QA. So what do you got what are you working on? Feeder station high goal assembly. What's your progress so far? Marked it, now we're gonna cut it. And that's it. Still working on pneumatics, still trying to get this thing to work the way we want it to. Hey, hand me back. I got it. So what are you working on, Lars? Testing, I don't actually remember what they're called, but um, uh, solenoid? Thank you, solenoid. Um, testing them and marking them okay. And then with the date, they were okay. Oh, pizza. Bye! <laughs>
Yeah. It's the end of week two, and we are nowhere. Yeah. Uh, he's a pessimist. Don't listen to him. Um, hi guys, welcome back. Um, kind of the another end of the week wrap up here. Just uh, kind of be brief summation. We have um, we kind of settled on some of the designs for the robot. We chose kind of like a linear shooter, um, probably six wheel tank. Um, yeah, and you just kind of tweaked everything a little bit more. Uh, what else did we? We finished our the KOP chassis. We built that. Oh, we've been building that over the past couple of weeks. We finished that up, and so now we have some kind of platform. And that way, we learned a little bit about the belts too. What else did we do today? Uh, a little bit more. We discussed our strategy. We're deciding for a quick pickup mechanism, that and quick conveyor all the way to the shooter. That way, maybe during autonomous, we can shoot, add some extra points for our alliance. Also, for all the missed frisbees, we're thinking that maybe if we have another alliance partner that can shoot well across the field, they can shoot across and we can pick up really quickly. That way we can eliminate that long drive all the way to the feeding station, and that can get us uh, some good time to shoot even more discs and make up maybe for a climb. Uh, we're not eliminating that yet. We're still uh, going to be thinking about a 30-point climb. As of now, we will be doing at least a 10-point climb. Uh, in our workshop, we're right now building the pyramid. We have a lot of the angles done, and we just have to assemble a lot of it. The goals, uh, we're almost completely done. Just have to a few more screws to assemble it all. So we almost have all the game pieces and elements. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the week. See you guys next time. See ya. So, Tim1099 here again uh, for week three update. Uh, this week, unfortunately, wasn't as productive as we planned for it to be. Uh, we did get some really useful knowledge, though. Uh, we started to fine-tune the linear shooter, changing the wheel type, the friction on both the wheel and uh, the stationary wall. Uh, so we also did finish all of the game elements. Uh, the pyramid, we didn't quite finish. Uh, we're going to be finishing later in the season because we had a strategy session uh, for our final brainstorming of how every element of our robots going to be built and operate. And we decided that the pyramid was not going to be as important uh, to our strategy. We would just do a t simple 10-point hang. Uh, so if any teams would like to actually come by and test out any of the elements, we have all the goals and the feeding slots. So you're welcome to come. You can go to team1099.org, check out our website, and find some contact information for that. And uh, that was our week three. This week, we began building our official chassis for the robot. Uh, from week two, when we built the kit bot, we determined that although belts are lighter and they do have many pros, we don't have as much experience with them. So we're going to go with chain because we work with that for many years and also we can customize that to any length we want because we determine that we are changing the size of our chassis. At the moment, we are doing a 27 by 28 inch chassis, a six wheel tank drive. So we'll be using the mini tough boxes that they supplied in the kit bot. Uh, something special we actually did this year though was painting our chassis uh, with a disco tech, so that's American. So at the moment, our wheels are white, the chassis is red, so our shooter's gonna somewhere be blue. So this year's robot's gonna be very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, something else that we did though today is we began uh, building our shooter. We're right now building uh, our own gear box mounts and our own motor mounts. Uh, so that way they can be uh, put right onto our shooter. And uh, something else that we're doing really interesting this year is our pneumatics. Uh, last time we used pneumatics was 2011, uh, so this year we really uh, want to prove them. So we're building uh, almost like a mini box that is almost all the main components of the pneumatics, which then tubes can stretch out to go to specific parts of the robot. That way it's very neatly organized, uh, and also it looks very nice. Tune in the next week for our week four update.